Yes, yes. Um, Justin, just more precautionary, want to get him to game week. Uh, just a little nicked up, and then Corey, kind of the same deal. What was, uh, was TJ Vasher out today also? TJ Vasher, same deal. Um, some of these guys that have had just a little, you know, cuts and bruises, we're kind of just waiting to get to game week. We'll start really game planning um, as far as executing our game plan tomorrow and, and Thursday, and so we want to get them to that day. Can you tell us what your line, your alignment is on your offensive line? For your first group? Yes, as of today, it was um, Terrence Steele, Madison at tackles. Stay Wars at center and Balin and Justin Murphy at the guards. Tony Morales is rotating in. Travis Bruffy is rotating in with that group. So still haven't settled on the final group, but that's um, who went with the ones today. Is Tony being with the twos, is that a reflection of the time that he's missed the last week? Or I, would, I would say so. I think just getting him back in the, to the rhythm. He missed a few um, days of some meaningful practice, so we're trying to get him caught back up. So if he were healthy, would you consider him? Uh, he's healthy now, but we'll, we'll, he's got to get uh, get in game shape and, and get caught up. So we're kind of waiting to see how that goes over the next couple of days. But how much time has Paul got in center? Um, this is going on about five days. So he played some um, in high school, played some in junior college. So he's familiar with it and just not doing it in our system. You said, you know, Travis Bruffy's one of the guys in the rotation. What's he been like, you know, this fall and through the summer and all that so far? He's been great. Very skilled offensive lineman. You know, he was a pitcher in high school. The last real baseball player type guy that I was around uh, was Luke Joko at A&M, was a big athlete baseball player. And that's who Travis reminds me of. He's got to get stronger, but um, things come to him very easily as far as pass setting and moving around. And uh, so he's, he's got a chance to be a pretty good player. Is he someone who's likely to play, or do you still want to try to run? No, he'll play. He's not going to redshirt, and I don't know if any of the other ones are. We're going to try to get him in there um, and get him going. You know, we have those a big class coming at mid-year of offensive linemen, so we're going to try and get these guys playing time and get them experience and, and go from there. When you look at the NFL as they get closer to game week over those final two preseason games, kind of seems like the starters kind of back off to let some of those other guys play, and not you know as physical as some of them, just trying to be healthy. How much do you uh, kind of take that same approach as, as now we're just? Yeah, I think our big you know, scrimmage was on Saturday. The NFL usually plays their starters a lot in that third game and then gives them rest in the fourth. And we're kind of in the same situation. Um, we had our big scrimmage Saturday. From now on, it's pretty much game prep type. We'll simulate a game week coming up and then have, have our regular game week next week. And uh, then it's time to go. As far as your backup quarterback, you think Nick's kind of solidified him himself as that so far? Because you've been pretty, you know, happy with how he's had done in camp so far. Yeah, he's done great. Um, been very impressed looking at his stats over camp. Protected the ball well, has a high completion percentage. We have some really good wide receivers who are making plays, and he's gotten more and more comfortable. So I, I think we have you know, th three guys um, with a fourth guy who's really close that can go in and execute our offense, and we can score points with it. Who helped, him? <clears throat> who helped himself the most on Saturday in the scrimmage? Um, or just in the last few days in general? Yeah, that's a good question. I think Quentin White is a guy who's really emerged. I mean, he's been around here, but playing him sort of that B back, full back, and running back, he's caught some some passes. He played special teams. He's really he's grown up. He's matured a lot over the last couple of years, and I think knowing it's his senior year, he, he's taken on an even bigger leadership role. So that's been great to see. Could you speak to Jordan Brooks and Braden Stringer and, and how those guys have come along as true freshman linebackers? It seems like they're getting in the rotation with both the ones and twos. Yeah, they are. We're throwing them in there. Both. Um, really have a nose for the football you know at, at that position you want guys that can see it and chase the ball and, and they both see it quickly and and aren't afraid to stick their nose in there so they're going to play a bunch they'll have a prominent role in special teams and then find their way into that linebacker rotation could jordan start if you like he, he can he can i'm not sure if he will but um i would not bet against it particularly as the season goes on he's got that type of ability i know you've been on a bunch of as far as rusty changing the, the culture here but Saw today, Iowa came out and said that you know, their strength and conditioning coordinator getting paid six hundred thousand dollars a year. I mean, that's obviously up there challenging a lot of coordinators. Just based on NCAA rule and what you guys uh, experience, he's probably the most hands-on. Uh, just when you came uh, practice with the team, uh, just uh, I guess just how much importance goes into you know finding a guy that can fit your system and, and, and 
just how tough is it to find that type of guy? Uh, throughout yeah, the that, that's huge. I mean, you, you kind of nailed it with their, they touch your players more than anybody else. So um, a guy that can come in, bring intensity, bring discipline, um, higher, you know, higher the expectations, um, teach guys how to work hard. It's, you know, it's invaluable. So he's, he's been great. Um, we're really excited to have him. And um, I, I think everybody's going to see the differences this year on the field. What do you think about somebody paying a strength and conditioning quarter six hundred grand? I mean, that's, that's awesome. If I had it, I would pay it. You know, I just we're not there yet, but hopefully we'll get there. I noticed Desmond Smith playing some corner today. Is he game ready? And if so, at which position is he more? Game I'd, ready? I'd say more game ready at corner, just because he's long and physical and can get his hands on people. Um, We'll do some things to help him out if he has to play safety and try to keep him in situations that he feels comfortable. But at corner, he can kind of use his instincts and be a good athlete and be physical. Can you talk about the wide receivers a little bit? Uh, mainly the transfers that came in during the springtime, Derek and Dick. Yeah, uh, Derek's been really good. You know, he, he hurt his hand a little bit, but he's back full strength and um, long, athletic, fast, everything you want. They have a really good rotation going there at X with Tony Brown and Lauderdale and, and him and a good competition. Um, and then Daquan, he's still trying to learn our system a little bit. He, he's looked good in the return game some, but he's got a ways to go as far as a wide out. Uh, Jacarthy Mack have anything significant? Or no, it's kind of the same deal. Some of these guys, we could have had them back probably today if we wanted to push it, but I, I made the decision with our trainers. Let's, let's just get them to uh, the game prep day tomorrow and go from there. So I expect them to be back either tomorrow or the next day. Last one for coaching. Uh, last thought on Rusty. I know um, your family, your Father obviously has a military background. How much did that play into uh, maybe just something that attracted you to, to Rusty and uh, the culture that he brings? Yeah, I think that's something growing up with that type of uh, discipline in my life, I think that's something I've always been attracted to. And um, I had some people that I really trust in my life call on his behalf and speak very highly of him. And, and uh, so we, we were fortunate to get him, and he's done a tremendous job.